Millions of Americans are hitting the road tonight for a very busy travel day. 13 News' Cassandra Brettel got to talk to families traveling on one of the busiest days of the holiday season. Why that decision may have been quite different a year ago. She joins us live at the Belvedere Oasis. Hey, Cassandra. Hey Maggie, take a look at the roads behind me here. I'm just outside the Belvedere Oasis and so you're looking at I-90 East. Those cars going out of the state line tonight. You can see on those roadways, it's pretty clear. Obviously a little bit busier today than we're used to, but not bumper to bumper yet as people are making their way out of the state line. Now also when thinking about this scene, it's quite different compared to last year and families say while we are still in a pandemic right now, it's a different era of it. And so those decisions may be different compared to last year. After a long time of not traveling, Paul Braun and his family are ready to take a big leap. We're going to the Bahamas. We're all vaccinated. My wife's an educator. She's got the booster. Myself and another have just been boosted and we kind of just figured, look, we're safe there. International travel requires a lot of documentation, but Braun said the hassle is worth it. Yeah, I feel way better knowing that everybody showing up there has gone through the testing, right? And you kind of, you know what you're walking into then. Brian Bell says he takes an individual approach when gathering. I think it's really up to everyone to do what they feel is comfortable. If someone doesn't want to come or you know, because they don't feel comfortable, that's their decision. But you know, we're not going to certainly tell people what to do. For him, he feels safe traveling and has even made stopping at the Belvedere Oasis on the way to Iowa to see his family a holiday tradition. I think, you know, realize that it's still important to, to get together with family over the holidays. And I think everyone kind of assesses their risks. And, you know, we felt that it was OK and it was safe to do so. So made the trip last year and you know feel even more safe this year. While some people say part of their travel plans had to include testing before leaving, Bell says that's not the case for him. I mean, I'm not going to do any testing, so I think that you know if people want to get a test, then that's fine. They can get a test, but I think everyone you know, kind of has their own risk uh, factors. Holiday decisions on the road and at home. The Belvedere Oasis is asking for people to remain distant while inside and wear those face coverings while they fuel up on tanks and fuel up their bellies to get ready for the holidays. So if you're traveling out there, just be safe. Reporting in Belvedere, Cassandra Brettel, 13 News. Maggie, over to you.